welcome to this edition of Canola TV, featuring the latest information on producing and marketing winter canola in the Southern Plains. Canola TV, a service of PCOM, Producers Cooperative Oil Mill. Howdy neighbors, welcome to another edition of Canola TV. We're pleased to have along with us today Josh Bushong, who's an extension canola specialist for the state of Oklahoma. He's based in Needed. We're today in Canadian County, uh, just a little bit east of El Reno in a blooming canola field. And Josh, what, what are you seeing as you go around, around the state? You've already obviously had a chance to see quite a few fields in the last few days. Yes, Ron. Uh, just like this morning, we started up in Burlington and worked our way through Kingfisher now here. Uh, most of the canola through that area have got some timely rains, so they're not as drought stressed as some of the stuff as we go further southwest. Uh, most of the drought stress that we've seen has been compounded by insect pressures, mostly cutworms and aphids now. Uh, so there's been a bunch of problems where we've had kind of limited production just because of the additive, additive effects of the aphids and the cutworms then in the stands. So, but the areas that we've been heavily scouted through late fall and winter have been very beneficial so we can catch those problems early. And those fields, they're still drought stressed a little bit, but they're still going to be able to make a profitable crop. Now, in the case of this particular field we're staying in, sounds like they only had maybe one really significant rain. Yeah, uh, one at planting and then one mid-February, which helped them out a lot coming out of the winter. Uh, and just the limited rainfall has kind of forced that taproot to go searching for water and when it got that extra drink at the uh, about oh uh, six weeks ago I guess mm -hmm. is is able to keep on doing going into reproductive stage right what you know as you talk to farmers and they're they're curious about canola what what are the one or two things you're really trying to impress upon them as they look at the crop this year and consider maybe growing some themselves well, we're still going to see the added benefits of using the crop rotation with wheat. Uh, most of the areas that we're seeing, the canola is taking the drought a lot better than the wheat, uh, mostly due to the taproot and the root system, able to mine down further for nutrients and water. Uh, like I said, mostly still seeing the benefits with the rotation. So. Okay. Very good. And, of course, you're going to be in southwest Oklahoma on, on Tuesday tomorrow. Uh, it's not going to be as pretty a picture, right? We still got some pretty good plots that way. We have a couple fell due to insects, uh, so we suffer just like some of the farmers down that way. But um, we still got some good fields to look at. So. Okay, very good. Josh, thank you for your time. Thank you, Ron. Josh, joining us today, of course, here in Canadian County uh, at one of the OSU test plots for winter canola. On Canola TV, I'm Ron Hayes. Canola TV, a service of PCOM and produced by OklahomaFarmReport.com.